The whole system with slip bobbering is pretty simple in the sense that you obviously don't need a very expensive rod in the sense that you're not using the rod for sensitivity. And so the biggest thing is just to lengthen the action. Don't be afraid to use a longer rod. This is just a walleye series rod from Shields. Phenomenal multi-purpose rod if you need a, a seven to seven and a half foot rod, medium light action for live bait rigging, slip bobber, or even pitching cranks. I like that longer action just for lobbing bait without losing your bait. Remember too with the reel, when you're setting the hook, don't be afraid to set the hook with the reel. And since that bobber goes down, just crank on that reel handle until that rod starts to load up. When you start to feel that rod tip load up, that's when you sweep and set the hook. And so, otherwise you're gonna swing and miss at a lot of fish. And so, 14 pound braid with that eight pound fluorocarbon leader. Now, I'll show you my tackle box here real quick. For just a slip bobber tackle box, things that you need to have. Obviously, the assortment of slip bobbers, a lot of one inch, inch and a quarter slip bobbers. A lot of small egg weights or worm weights, especially if you're using a plain hook. But the other thing I do a lot of is these Whistler jigs and these small fireball jigs. And what I find early on in the year, especially with these fronts, you know, I'll use a plain hook a lot. You know, the air temperatures dropped 20, 25 degrees in the last couple of days. And so when things get tough, cold fronts, go plain, keep it simple. But especially later on in the summer, that water warms up a lot of times just a fireball hook or a Whistler jig. Just add a little bit of flash, a little bit of color. But tell you what, this is something you can go out and do. And if you have kids, families, whatever, you can come out here. The more people in the boat, the better, because you could use more rods and just come out here and catch a lot of fish. This is something that'll catch walleyes anywhere. I mean, it's just so effective. If you know where fish are, especially if there's stumps, trees, weeds, rocks, and you can just sit in a small spot, you let that leech swim in front of a walleye, they just can't resist it.